All right, guys. Um, uh, the Iranians have actually retaliated and hit a U.S. base with dozens of rocket attack, and these were actually ballistic missiles fired from Iraq. So that is a footage there. So uh, we don't know uh, the response that Donald Trump is going to come up with, but Donald Trump had vowed a response and threatened Iran that if Iran dare retaliate, that U.S. is going to respond and strike 52 targets. So this is getting out of hand, guys. Um, the Iranians have responded, and you're going to watch how they are going to fire this rocket you get. So there are multiple bases in Iraq, but I think it is... According to report, two of them have been hit with dozens of rockets. So, but what we don't know is the casualty, whether they have been uh, a casualty. So we are still awaiting a report of this casualty figure. So, but what we are worried about, what it, what the world is actually worried about, is how this thing is going to escalate. That's why people they are looking at ways to actually de-escalate and um, calm down tension. You know, um, U.S. have nuclear weapons now, but we don't know if Iran actually has some speculate that Iran has uh, nuclear weapons. So, but we, we are waiting to see how this is going to actually um, um, escalate. But we pray that this thing shouldn't escalate because if it does, this will uh, eventually cripple our civilization. So, what do you guys think? I'm going to play the video. You hear what the audio and know what is actually happening so happy I know 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 I Alright guys, so what do you think after watching this uh, footage, what do you think, uh, this is blowing out of proportion, US have more than 12,000 nuclear warheads, we don't know how many Iran has, but um, I think they should, be, they should come to a negotiating table because uh, this is a modern world that diplomacy is actually um, the norm, so but we don't know how this is going to actually escalate, you know. Uh, U.S. is trying to stop Iranian expansionism. You know, Iran has this ideology of expansionism. So they want to expand. In fact, they have influence in the entire Middle East. They control the Hezbollah. We have the Hamas. You get the Houthis rebel that are uh, fighting with Saudi Arabia. You get So these guys have um, uh, capability. They have ability to actually influence and also inflame the uh, or cause trouble in the entire region look at what they did to saudi arabia they struck saudi arabia oil refineries you get and they also attacked some ship in the uh strait of Hormuz. you get that is controlled by them so these guys actually have the propensity to actually cause trouble and what the americans are trying to do is to stop the expansionism of iran into iraq because iran have virtually taken over Iranian politics, and that is what they I mean Iraq Iraq politics, and that's what they did to Assad. They've taken over Syria, so there's this expansionism that is ongoing, and that is why that's what Donald Trump is trying to stop. So Donald Trump had vowed to uh, cripple the entire Iranian, you know, system. 
And um, what Donald Trump vowed, he said, Iran came up and said that um, uh, 35 targets have been bookmarked for them to actually attack. So, but America, strike, uh, America responded back that 52 targets have actually been identified and they are going to strike. And this includes Iraq's Iranian refinery, you know, some media cultural sites. You get it. So, you know, Iran has this cultural heritage, you know, from Persian and all of that. They have this historical site. So, the uh, U.S. are trying to strike this uh, location. You get it. So, we don't know how this thing is going to blow out of our uh, proportion. So, but uh, what do you guys think? And this is happening after U.S. strike and assassinated, you know, um, uh, Qasem Soleimani, the Iran Revolution Guard commander. You get so, and you know, Iran has this um, military that is actually an offshoot of Iran, but this one they operate outside of Iran. In fact, they are responsible for destabilizing government and also organizing terrorism in every part of the world. So, according to Donald Trump, Donald Trump said taking out this guy is a priority as this will help stop the war and stop more killings. So, this thing has gone out of proportion. Iran have responded with full force. Imagine. 10 rockets you understand me attacking u.s base so we don't know how many of them have been shot down uh from the video from what i saw from the video footage it appears is only two rockets that actually hit their target and maybe some of them may have been knocked out by anti-missile defense system so but we don't know what is a, the casualty figure and donald trump had vowed that any american you know life that is lost as a result of iran attacking that they are going to uh destroy iran you know you understand me so and we all know that america is the best military in the world second to russia you get so we don't know whether it's going to whether it is china or britain that is the next but i know that definitely u.s have the best uh military you get so we don't know how Donald Trump is going to respond this time around. We don't know how other people are going to calm him down. But he has vowed that the U.S. is going to respond. And especially if this involves loss of life of U.S. servicemen, they are going to respond. They are going to respond. So, and um, we don't know how it's going to blow out. We don't know how it's going to escalate. Uh, we pray because if it does, it will affect you. If U.S. decide to use a nuclear weapon, we don't know how Russia will respond. And also to how the world powers are actually going to respond. Up to now, Russia has not actually said anything. The only thing Russia said is uh, offer a condolence, condolence message to uh, Iran over the loss of their commander. So, but we don't know how this is going to uh, blow out. We pray this shouldn't blow out of proportion because it's going to actually cripple uh, the world civiliz civilization. It will affect you and me. Remember the nuclear radiation the fallout of nuclear radiation and again iran also vowed they are going to attack uh, israel they are going to attack inside of tel aviv so we don't know if they are going to attack tel aviv you know if they attack this thing is going to become a, a third world war and if israel is drawn into it turkey is going to definitely come into the war turkey will come into the war definitely and we don't know the side that Egypt would take side. Maybe e Egypt might take sides with Israel because Egypt currently has their loggerhead with Turkey. So Egypt will come in and they will take side with Israel. You get that is only um, uh, uh, Muslim neighbor. That's only uh, uh, Islam neighbor to Israel that is actually actually favorable to Israel as at the moment we don't know what is going to happen in the future but as at the moment I'm talking to you now you know Egypt keeps re receiving aid from United States US have been giving Egypt aid I think it's 1 billion every year every single year they get 1 billion why Israel get 2 billion or more up to 3 billion US dollars in military aid and assistance so but we don't know but obviously we know that Hamas will attack Hezbollah will attack from Lebanon you get and then this thing is going to blow out of hand we don't know how europe is going to respond for now i don't know about macron emmanuel macron of france he appears as if emmanuel macron of france is dancing toward the russian side so but we don't know how russia is going to respond but obviously we know that russia um is also a friend of us and also an ally of iran so
So if Russia comes into the if Russia comes into the game and aids Iran, which, which obviously I know they are going to do, they are going to assist Iran. This is going to blow out of proportion because China will also China have a defense pact with uh, Russia. So China will come in in the side of Russia, and then Britain will go in the side of U.S. We don't know about France, but obviously I know the side of uh, other uh, other parts of Europe might come in the side of NATO. You get so this thing is going to become more messier by the day and us will launch their nuclear ballistic missile if this actually escalates if russia comes into play russia will be attacked and then russia will equally attack us interest as well and these two countries will be hit with high proportion of nuclear uh, weapon so i'm looking at it from the bible standpoint to what god has said in the book of revelation chapter 4 john says he sees the rider of the second horse you understand me and what just what john heard was that he heard a voice saying that this will take peace from the earth and men shall declare war upon themselves and jesus says as the time proceeds you understand as we get nearer to the end that there shall be wars and uh, rumors of war there's going to be a world war and this one is so bad that it's going to end civilization on earth and it's what the bible says that if god will not intervene in those days no flesh is going to be saved you get so but god is going to intervene uh he's not going to sit there he's going to intervene